everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bethany if you're new here and I am currently homeschooling my daughter. She is currently in grade one. We have been homeschooling for the past two years and so in today's video I thought it would be really fun for me to show you our homeschooling must-haves. So like I said my daughter is in grade one so just keep that in mind as obviously things are going to change as the years progress and what her needs are and what she's needing for supplies, curriculum, etc. So this is what we are doing and I have have my homeschooling kind of station behind me and I'm basically just gonna go through everything I have in there things that I absolutely love to use for homeschooling and hopefully this can be helpful to you maybe you're interested in homeschooling maybe that you are kind of on the same journey as I am just kind of getting your start into it and some of these things can be helpful to you so anyways without further ado let's just get into it and let's go through my homeschooling station okay so the first thing that is definitely essential for me is our big whiteboard. So we use this every single day and we write down the day, the season, the day of the week and kind of the weather, what it's like outside. And also we've been using it for math and even for English and just to write out things is just so much easier for my daughter to understand. So this is really great and I love that we have a great spot over here that we can put this. So now coming down here, oh yeah, wait, um, this is her little wand that she made and then we are working on number lines, so I just cut out a number line thing and just put it in there for now. But moving on to down here, this timer, I find that this is extremely great for, for kids to visualize um, just how much time we have left in activity. I can even bring this outside and use this for, say, like, okay, we have five more minutes until we need to go outside, and then they can actually see how much time is left. I use this for all sorts of things. I use this for myself also, which is a great motivator when I can see the time winding down. And then also here, I have this great kind of like daily, like weather and day chart as well. So with us doing the weather and day every day, we also do this too. Um, this was in a Love Every Play kit, and we have loved this. We got to change the day. Today is actually Wednesday, and the season's winter. They come with like these great cards for all the seasons, and then we can change it to what the weather's like, and this is it today. It is snowy. We have weekday and weekend, and then there's another card behind there, and then even the temperature. So this is the temperature today. It's about minus 12 Celsius, so that's really fun. We really have enjoyed this. Also, moving on over here, I actually got this kind of like pen holder at Dollarama. This is great for when I'm not wanting to take out the big marker, pencil, and crayon thing. And I can just take out this small one and just bring it over to the table. Super great, super durable. Um, we did have a wooden one, but it just kept falling apart. So we got this plastic one and it's been working really great. Also, we got these for Christmas for the kids. And these are kind of like magic um, writing boards. Here, I'll just show you here. So we'll just take it here and you can write on it and you can just click a button and it disappears. The kids love these, they use them all the time and it's a great option for even road trips and things like that. So we use this a lot um, for doing math problems or writing out letters or anything like that. So it's these have been really, really great and it comes with a lot of, ah, and it comes in a lot of different colors too. I have this Love Every Puzzle and we really love it. Um, it is great because it has all of the letters and their sounds on here and then on the other side it actually has animals so they can match up then the letters to the animals which is really great and helpful for my son who is in preschool right now okay so before I go in there I'm just gonna show you over here so this is actually our daily schedule I actually made this um, I didn't make the cards I actually bought it so I'll put the link down below for you guys but these have been so great for just the kids to have a visual of what the day is going to look like I basically just put a bunch of velcro um, down the center of this canvas I just sewed the canvas together and attached it at the top and then added some velcro to the back this was kind of our schedule today and now we're at rest time the kids are having their quiet and rest time and that's what the rest of the day is kind of going to look for us. It comes with so many different things here and I laminated all of these which is I'll get into that in a second. There are so many different cards to add to our schedule which is really really awesome. Okay and one more thing before I head into the cupboard is our laminator. I actually got this I think for about 20 bucks so it's not too bad and this is such an essential because I laminate quite a few different things and it's great if you want to laminate a page or a worksheet then the kids can just use a dry erase marker and they can 
basically just use that worksheet over and over again, which is awesome. So it's great for my preschooler who's just learning his numbers and his letters and writing, and it's, it's been awesome. All right, so let's head into the cupboard. Um, this is great because it is baby proof for my toddler right now, so he cannot get in here, which is awesome. But this is what our cupboard is looking like. I just cleaned it and went through it, so it was looking absolutely chaotic in here but it's looking so much better and I'm so happy with how things are right now. Obviously, like I said, as years progress, um, this is gonna look different and we're gonna have more curriculum and more things to put in here. So it's okay for now, it's working great um, when I'm just basically officially homeschooling one child. Okay, so to kind of start off up here, I have some kind of slime and Play-Doh for the kids. They love playing with this, this is such a great, activity in between lessons for my daughter or just for them to play with in general which is awesome we got some we got some glue here and then up here i have just a, a pencil case here um it's kind of nice to like i said just bring out um a few markers and not like the big boxes here like I have. Then we have my daughter's adventure Bible. Um, this is what we read to her and it's really easy for her to understand. But then up here, these are kind of what we use to help with counting, um, adding and subtracting. So in here, I actually just have a bunch of wooden colored squares. And then I have found these little mushrooms at the dollar store and my daughter's been loving practicing counting with those. So these are really helpful for when she is you know, trying to learn to count and, and subtract and all that stuff. Okay, moving on to this here, um, I have a ton of sight words in here that I laminated. As you can see, there's quite a few. I think there's about 200. Yeah, so these are gonna be really awesome for her to memorize as she's learning to read. I found when I memorized words, it was really helpful to her. So these are a lot of common words that she's going to see um, and laminating them has really helped just to keep them looking nice. And then I also have some um, addition flashcards in here where she can write on them and we can just erase the answers after. So we're just memorizing our basic adding and subtracting um, number sentences, which is really fun. All right, so moving on here, I just have some flashcards. I've been using this with my preschooler. Also, I've been really loving these flashcards. These are great because they come with the ending of words that are common with three letter words. So it's really easy for her to kind of memorize what those end sounds are and then just to add different letters to the front. So that's been really good. We really enjoy using these. So then again, I just have another thing of markers here and I really love labeling things. I love my label maker. It's so great. I'll put the link down below for you guys, but it's really affordable and it makes really great labels for things. Also here I have this, this is actually filled with dice. Um, we use this for math, which is great. Um, as you can see, there's dice in there. And we've been using it for greater and lesser numbers or even just adding and subtracting. Then we just have some stamps here. Um, my daughter loves crafts, so we had some Christmas stamps in there and then we have some paint here. So this is actually filled with her curriculum for this year. So we got a lot of stuff for her this year, so we're working on a lot of these workbooks as well. Then we have some uh, money, it's like a cash register. Um, we're, using the, we're using that for some lessons later on. And then here we have a workbook for her that I had used last year for when she was in kindergarten. And then this is actually my, my son's preschool workbook where we have filled up a bunch of awesome free worksheets. I will put the link down below for you guys for this website. It's absolutely amazing and we've actually laminated these so he's been he's used these before as you can see um, didn't erase all of them there but it's great so that he can trace and use these again. So these are just some of the worksheets that he's been doing and we still got some to work on but yeah he's been He's been doing great and just really loving having fun learning beside his sister. Down here, I have this dry erase writing board. I've used this quite a bit and it's awesome for kids to learn how to write and copy and dry erase is honestly where it's at. It's so great because you can reuse it and um, we've really enjoyed this as well. And then down here, I just have some construction paper and some more craft supplies down here. And then I have another one of those bins that's just filled with some more craft supplies. I have these magnetic 
letters, which are really great for kids to spell words on their own. So these can just go straight on the fridge and we have really liked using these. I wish I had some more of them just because they would be really great to have multiples of, of each letters. And I really love these bins. They're from Ikea. Yeah. And then over here, I just have a bunch of coloring books, a lot of activity books for my son, things that he likes to do while we are kind of doing lessons for my daughter. So that's kind of where we keep all of those. Also, another thing that we really love to use is our Yoto player. It's so great because you can actually get over 800 different cards for it. And it is one of our favorite things to use. We actually use it every single day and you can use it for so many awesome educational purposes and it's great because it has um, no internet, no screens, no microphones, no anything. So it gives them a safe way to um, access content, which is amazing. And one of my daughter's favorites is Anne of Green Gables. Matthew. And it is such a great book. She loves it so much. You'll stay in this room until you confess, Anne. Also, if you're wanting to know what curriculum we're using for grade one, I do have a video where I go through literally everything I'm doing for each subject this year. So it may give you some idea for maybe next year for your child or just looking for some inspiration in the future. So you could actually go check out that video and it's called Homeschooling for Beginners. Anyways, so that is where I'm gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed kind of going through my homeschooling must-haves today and going through my homeschooling cupboard and everything that we're using this year. It's super simple, it's not super complicated, but we love using the things that we do and we found that they really work well for us. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really love it if you would do so. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful and let me know some of your homeschooling must-haves down below in the comments. I'm sure I would love to know what some of yours are and others would as well. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.